Hey everyone, it's Akbar, developer advocate from Figma. One of the questions that we get asked the most is how folks can keep their variables in sync with GitHub. Some teams want to use Figma variables as their source of truth for design tokens so that any changes in Figma will be reflected in code appropriately. Meanwhile, other teams want their code as a source of truth for design tokens so that Figma reflects what's existing in code. We've previously shared a FigJam file describing how to sync design systems using the variables REST API with a link in the description below. Today, we're making this even easier. We've created a live example repo that you can clone that will show you how to use the REST API with GitHub Actions to sync your design tokens to Figma and vice versa. We hope this makes it easier to build a workflow that fits your needs. Now, before we get started, let's take care of some housekeeping. To sync Figma variables to tokens, you must be a member of an enterprise org in Figma. To sync tokens to Figma, you must also have an editor seat. These workflows assume that you have a single Figma file with local variable collections and that you have one or more token JSON files in the tokens directory that adhere to the draft W3C spec for design tokens. You can read more of these details in the repo, but for now, I'll move on. I'll be using a demo version of this repo and the get started with variables community file to demonstrate with links in the description below and you can create a copy of this file and follow along. Let's get started. I'm going to start off by showing how you can sync from Figma to your GitHub. This is a workflow that you might use to make sure that your code base has the right tokens for your developers to use and that their values are up to date. I'm going to use the get started with variables community file and you can follow along if you like. Here are the local variables and you can see that there's already a set over here with all the different collections. And here is my GitHub demo repo that already has this baseline set created. So I'm going to go ahead and show off the actions. And in the actions, we're going to look at sync Figma variables to tokens. So to run this workflow, I need the file ID up here, choose the right branch, in this case, the demo branch, and I'm gonna go ahead and run the workflow. So that's gonna take some time to show up. And when it does, I can click on it, and I can look into the job to see what's happening. And in this case, you can see that there was no difference in the token file and the, and the current branch, so it does not create a pull request. So I'm going to go back. No new pull request. So now what's going to happen if I make a change on my design file? So this time I'm going to change this to be cherry. I'll make a description and I'll change the scope to only text. So once I've made those changes, once again, going through, running the workflow. And we wait for that to finish. And this time you'll see that a pull request was created because there was a difference. When the action is done, I can go check my pull requests. And here it is. Update tokens from Figma. And now I can see the changes in the description, the changes in the scopes, and the change in the value in the mode that it was changed in. So I'm not going to approve this change, but this just shows you an example of what happens. Now let's look at how we can sync a code source of truth to Figma. This is a workflow that you might use to make sure that changes in your code are reflected in your Figma library. For now, I'm going to use it to reset the changes that I've made in the last example. So I'm going to go to sync tokens to Figma, run the workflow. It's asking for which branch and which file key. I'm using the same branch and the same file key. I'm going to go ahead and run the workflow. Give that a second. And I want you to pay really close attention to over here, and we're going to see this color brand cherry change back to what it originally was before I made the change. Now you see that it's over here. 
And if I look into the details, the description is empty again, and the scoping is back to where it was. The code that runs these GitHub actions can be run locally as well, and I'll demonstrate that here. So I have the variables GitHub action demo repo clone to my device. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to populate an empty Figma file with the variables that I need. So this is another additional use case for syncing from code to Figma, is that you can use this as a way to import many variables to an empty Figma file. You can think of it like having a clean slate. So I have this empty file here, my empty file for GitHub demo. You can see that there are no variable collections here. And I'm going to go ahead and run the npm run sync tokens action. And you can see all that the file is getting created. And you can see that my file has now been populated with the tokens that were in the repo. So this is a way for you to test out the workflow before you even submit it to GitHub Actions. We hope this demo gives you a good place to start to customize your workflow. And here are a few modifications that you might need to make to make this work for you. So for instance, the demo expects a user provided file key. If you already know one, you can automate this. It runs manually via the web interface, but you can modify it to run on a code push to a specified branch. It operates very conservatively. It doesn't make any subtractive changes. If variables or collections don't exist, they'll be creative. If they do, they'll be overwritten. But that, what that means is it doesn't delete variables or collections. It doesn't remove variables or variable collections that are removed in the tokens file. So if you rename a variable in your tokens file, in your Figma file, you'll have both the old name and the new name. The demo also assumes that variable names are unique. It allows multiple variables. Figma allows multiple variables with the same names. And for the purposes of this example, we assume all tokens and variable names are unique to avoid conflicts. If you wanted to keep non-unique names, then you would also have to create a stable identifier that would map your design system tokens to the Figma variable IDs. Thanks for watching, and we're looking forward to what you do with variables.